Sarah Jane from Maywe and I am here with the Braid Art Centre to teach you some quarantine craft from the comfort of your home. Today we're going to make some shakers. They're super easy to make and they're suitable for ages 2 to 10 years old. So to get started we need to get our materials together. The first thing you'll need is a roll of some description. Toilet roll or kitchen roll is great. If you weren't lucky enough to stock past some of these you can roll up a piece of card or paper and tape it down one side. You'll need some PVA glue. If you don't have PVA glue, Pritt stick is fine. If you are using PVA glue, a pot with a little bit of water in it and a paintbrush. Another important ingredient in households, some rice and some pasta for the inside of the shaker. You'll need some tissue paper and assorted sort of colors. If your children are old enough, they could cut this up themselves. And if you don't have tissue paper, you could use paint or pens. Additionally, you'll need a piece of paper, a pen, some scissors, masking tape. And if you happen to have some glitter or sequins around the house, they're good for decorating at the end. The end. So the first thing we need to do is make the ends of our rain shaker. So to do that, we're going to hold the tube down and draw around it. Mine is not quite circular because it's been in the recycling. Once you've got your outline drawn, you can just start to cut it off. So once they're cut out, set the rest of the paper to the side and get your masking tape. You'll need to lay the paper over one end. It doesn't matter if it doesn't quite fit, that's okay. And just secure it on with some tape. Try to cover all of the holes. So that's one end on. Now what we need to do is pour in the rice and pasta. And that'll get us started off. So we need to put the other end on top and just as we did before, cover up all the gaps. It doesn't need to be neat, we're going to cover the whole thing. basis of a good rain shaker here, very noisy. Next what we're going to do is paper mache the outside with tissue paper. Firstly a classic art attack special, we're going to need two parts PVA to one part water. So if you just take it apart and you can mix it in. Once that's mixed, really easy, you start painting it onto the outside of the rain shaker and sticking down the tissue. Once you've finished covering the outside in tissue paper, and don't forget to do the ends as well, you could add some extra decorations if you felt like it. Some glitter, some sequins, a light sprinkling on the outside is all it really needs. After you've finished decorating, just leave it to dry for a couple of hours. Let the PVA harden and then it'll be ready for your kids to play with. So once you've let it dry, it's ready to go. And that is it for making shakers today in our quarantine craft session. 
I'd love to see your creations if you post some photos below. And that's all for me for today. Bye for now.